Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the iPad. First of all, I send my apologies. I haven't been making a video in a while. Been very busy and I've been a bit ill as well. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to upload any in a while. But I'm back now. Going to make videos on a regular basis again. And first of all, I would like to congratulate Apple on their announcement of the iPad. Unfortunately, it's been attracting a lot of bad press because of the lack of some features. Some people say it's overpriced, some people say that they're not buying it because of the lack of camera, lack of flash, lack of multitasking. But, you know, the only one thing from there I would say is that multitasking is a must have on a device like this really. Because really they're, they're selling this as a computer and what could replace a netbook. If you've seen Mr. Jobs' presentation, he did mention netbooks and how they're slow. They run, what was it, run old clunky PC software. And he also said they're not better at anything. So this, to be better than a netbook for me, should be able to do two things at once. Or more. I don't want to have to close down iWork every single time I load up Safari. It's a gorgeous looking device. It looks like a big iPod Touch, but it's got much more functionality. And I think where this device is really going to shine is where developers start making those games and programs that are so brilliant on the iPhone, but will just look fantastic on such a great screen and a fast processor, and a fast graphics card. It'd just be an amazing experience. Let's get some real good applications, some you know applications that could be considered Mac class. Because, you know, on the iPhone they're nice and all, but really to be a desktop application on this, on a touchscreen device, would be just immense. So I'm looking forward to see what developers are going to do with this. You can run iPhone applications, of course, in a, but you have to upscale the application, which is, some people said that makes them look a bit jaggedy and a bit, you know, just a bit non-Apple non quality, so maybe that will improve over time with the next firmware update, which I'm sure will feature multitasking. Uh, the camera is not really important to me. I would, I can understand why people do want it for things like Skype because I think that would be good. But other than that, for, for, well, if you wanted a camera you'd have to put it on the front instead of the back because I can't see many people using this as their point and shoot camera. <laughs> uh, for me, the price, okay, $500 or what, about £320 is pretty good because you can buy an iPod Touch now from the Apple Store today. Well, where the bottom line iPod Touch is 8 gigabytes, and the bottom line entry level iPad is um, 16 gigabytes. So you can buy the 8 gigabyte right now for £152. That's the latest third generation iPod Nano, iPod Touch, sorry. So you pay like double the price, but you get, well, you get triple the screen size, better hardware, a much better portable game player. I do like iPod Touch, that, that looks fantastic. I'm not sure if they really look like that. That's brilliant. So for me, for this to be a success, I think I think he'll have to sell to the right people because this could potentially dominate the game portable gaming market. There can't be a much better gaming device than this. I've had what three PSPs, one DS, and this just looks phenomenal because it's got but what Wi-Fi and three G, so you can download games wherever you are from the App Store. Cheap games, you know. I know PSP have just launched their minis, but that's not even near enough as uh, App Store has got has. And if you think about a ten-inch touch screen, I'm not sure if you've seen the keynote. If you've seen a first-person shooter, was it Nova? And how they developed their application, they ported it across to the iPad. Looked absolutely incredible, and Need for Speed as well. That looked um, just phenomenal. And obviously with the accelerometer and this, it's much better than the PSP. 
I just can't wait till this comes out. I will buy one right away and give you more reviews as soon as possible. I'm going to go for the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version. I'm not going to wait a month for the 3G. And I already have a Wi-Fi, so if I need to get online, then I can use the Wi-Fi. And, and well, well, in most places I am, I have Wi-Fi. I have Wi-Fi at home, I have Wi-Fi at college, or place in town I have Wi-Fi. So I don't think I'll really need the Wi-Fi, use the Wi-Fi with this and stuff. So my part two of this will be coming out well around the same time the iPad comes out. I'm not sure if the exact date. I think it's March twenty seventh is what people worked out to be. It was um sixty days from the keynote, which was twenty second Wednesday twenty second January. So it's probably about March, like late March time yet. Yeah, late March, the three G model ship in April. UK pricing not announced yet. You can't unfortunately just convert it to dollars from dollars to to pounds. It doesn't quite work like that due to the VAT we have over here and things. But overall, this just looks brilliant. One point five pounds for the Wi-Fi model. Add an extra point one pounds to get three G. An Apple Apple processor, which is intriguing. H.264 video up to 720p HD. Legendary. I'm going to get that as well in that case. That looks pretty cool. I'm not going to get the keyboard dock. Instead, I'm going to get the case and buy the um, official Apple wireless keyboard. This just looks phenomenal. Seriously, I'm really looking forward to this. I've never... Like even before the iPhone, how much I was looking forward to getting the iPhone three G. This just beats everything. Well, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the iPad. Terrible name, but you know, say your name. We'll get used to it. So let me know what you think in the comments. Make a response to anything. What are you looking more forward to in the iPad? And if you complain about the camera, complain about flash, complain about multitasking, uh, I'm kind of with you on all those things. Okay, see you later.